Hi, I am Miss Duguid, and you are going to read Ladybug Life Cycle with me. And we're going to put together a life cycle puzzle as we go. Are you ready? Before you begin reading a nonfiction book, it's good to think about what you already know about the topic. What do you already know about ladybugs? What do you want to find out? We read the table of contents to make the whole book make sense. We can see the topics, the chapters, and the page numbers. Chapter 1, all about ladybugs. What is this about? Read the heading, read the heading. Headings tell us what the main idea of the section is. All about ladybugs. What is tiny, shiny, and dressed in a spotted coat? A ladybug. Ladybugs are insects. They are part of a group of insects called beetles. Why is that word bolder than the words around it? Because it's important to the story. Ladybugs are part of a group of insects called what? Beetles. Ladybugs are not all ladies. They can be male or female. Did you know that? Ladybug parts. What is it called when you see a picture that has words that label parts of a whole? A diagram. Let's read the words on the diagram. Spot, hard wings, eye, antenna, head, leg, and soft wings. Ladybugs have six legs and two pairs of wings. One pair of wings is hard. They protect another pair of wings that is fragile and used for flying. What does fragile mean? Fragile usually means easy to break. But ladybugs do not begin their lives looking this way at all. Read on to learn about the life cycle of this incredible bug. Let's read this caption. Ladybugs use their antenna to feel smell, and taste. Did you know they taste with their antenna? Chapter 2. Egg to Larva. A ladybug starts life inside an egg. What other things do you know of that start as an egg? Females lay eggs on leaves. The eggs look like teeny yellow jelly beans. Let's read the caption. One ladybug can lay 1,000 eggs during her lifetime. Whoa! A few days later, the eggs hatch and out crawl tiny creatures. These are ladybug larvae. Munch, munch! They are so hungry, they eat their own eggshells. Ladybugs lay their eggs in the springtime. Newborn larva. No, the first stage in our ladybug life cycle. The egg. Good. And what was hatched out of the egg? The larva. The job of a larva is to eat, eat, eat. Oh, that's a fun job. Its favorite food is a teeny bug called an aphid. A larva can eat 25 aphids in one day. An aphid looks like this close up, but they're actually super tiny. You can see the larva eating the aphid. All that eating makes the larva grow and grow. It may not look like a ladybug yet, just wait. Something amazing is about to happen. A larva grows to be about this big. It's talking about this. Almost the size about a fingernail. Chapter 3. Pupa to Little Ladybug. Well, this looks different, doesn't it? After a few weeks, the larva stops moving and attaches itself to a leaf. Then it turns into something called a pupa. A pupa is like a wrapped up present. What does that remind you of? Something in the butterfly life cycle, maybe? 
guess what happens next? About one week later, the pupa breaks open. Surprise! Out pops a little ladybug. Female ladybugs are bigger than male ladybugs. A ladybug is born. At first, the ladybug is soft and pale, but after a few hours, its shell gets hard and bright like this. An adult ladybug is about this size. That is smaller than the larva it came from. Soon the ladybug is able to spread its wings and fly. Wow, at last it is all grown up. A ladybug flies to a flower. Let's review the life cycle. Ladybugs have a very interesting life cycle. Do you remember the main four steps? Day one, female ladybug lays its eggs. After five days, a larva is born. It grows and grows. At 25 days, a larva turns into a pupa. At 32 days, a pupa turns into a ladybug. The life cycle of most ladybugs takes four to six weeks. All grown up. There are more than 4,000 kinds of ladybugs in the world. Some are red with a few spots. Some are red with lots of spots. Some ladybugs are brown or gold. Some are even sunny yellow. Ladybugs have zero to 24 spots. How many spots do these have? During the summer, ladybugs eat lots of aphids and small insects. Munch, munch. They want to have full stomachs for the long winter ahead. Why? Ladybugs eat the pollen of flowers too. Many kinds of ladybugs hibernate. They gather in groups. Then they hide under leaves, rocks, or logs to sleep all winter. What other animals do you know that hibernate like ladybugs? A group of ladybugs hibernate. That's a lot of ladybugs. In spring, the ladybugs wake up and the females lay eggs. After that, the incredible ladybug life cycle starts all over again. Ladybugs are also called lady beetles and lady birds. I love when authors add a glossary to nonfiction books. What is the job of this page, the glossary? It's to review the important words that were in the book. It gives us the words and their definition. So let's play a game. I'm going to say a definition and you get to guess which word it is. Do you remember what the word is that means it's easy to break? Fragile. Did you guess it? What tiny bug did ladybugs eat? Aphids. What does it mean to go into a deep sleep that lasts through the whole winter? Hibernate. And what is the stage in an insect's life right before it becomes an adult? Pupa. How'd you do? We are at the end of our book, but we still need to finish our ladybug life cycle wheel. We have egg, larva, and then what stage comes next? Pupa. And then, of course, the last and final stage, drum roll, ladybug. Thank you for your help today, and I hope you remember the ladybug life cycle.